Hello to anybody out there uh, watching. <laughs> I'm not sure how many people watch these videos. Um, I uh, This deck is about strategizing, deck building, and today I'm going to be talking about... Oh, and you can't see my eyes. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the amount of cards that you want in your deck. Now, um, each starter pack... Uh, yeah, starter pack comes with uh, 50 or 51, depending on if you get a rare card in there. I'm not sure how that works. Not not my field. <laughs> uh, but you, it comes with about 50 to 51. And that's that's the amount of cards that you want. Okay, so just, just diving into it, that's the amount of cards that you want, 50 to 51. I know I have 51, but that's only because I lost count um, when I was building it. I just feel silly, but I did. Um, so, I mean, I'm not, I don't have the most competitive deck, maybe. I, it could be more competitive, we'll see. Um, but, um, that's the amount of cards that you want to run. Uh, and, uh, if you watched any of Zach's videos, um, the rule that he's, it's not, not a rule, but it's called Murphy's Law, I think. And, uh, it says, whatever can happen will happen at, at some point. And, um, and that, that's what I've experienced. When I was in, um, when I first started going to a co-op, there was a historical conquest class, and that's where I started. Um, and it was, I mean, it was a, it was kind of competitive, but I wasn't. Because I got, like, four decks, so I, I just slammed them all together and played a 200-card deck. And I was like, this makes me scary. I am terrifying. I look experienced. I got almost all the cards. Um, this is good, but it wasn't because um, Murphy's law: whatever can happen will happen. So as you're drawing cards, you got the good cards in there. You got the bad ones. At some point, you're only going to get bad cards, no matter what. Uh, the more you play, you're going to get bad cards, and you're going to keep drawings. You might get good cards later. You might get bad cards. But generally, you're going to be getting a mix. Sometimes you'll get good cards. It all depends, but it's not like having a smaller deck. Um, another downside to having a whole bunch of cards in your deck is people look around the table, and um, for some reason there's this mindset that bigger is scarier. Okay, so... There's, they see you with this gigantic deck, and they're like, that guy's scary. He's going to kill us all, and we'll be dead. Uh, but that, even, even if that's not the case, that, that's, what, that's what a lot of people think. Not everyone at all. Um, but it is, it is uh, something I've experienced when playing. Um, then there's the expansion packs, which are um, either 15 or 20 cards. I don't remember. Um, but putting that together, that's about eight, uh, 70, 75 to 81 cards, if depending on the rare card and the amount of, amount of cards in the deck, or not, not 75, sorry, 65 to 71. And, I mean, that's, uh, that's an, that's an okay level. It's not the most competitive you can be. But it is, it is a certain level of competitive. The, the problem with that is it's still Murphy's Law coming into play. Now you can fill your deck chock full with good cards, but there's only, only so many competitive cards that you can play. Um, for instance, there's um, the Eli Whitney. I like to run 300 cards, 300 morale, and in the 2.0 he, he gives 300 morale. But he also discards a card. So you're going to have Eli Whitney as opposed to Yi Sun Shin, which is all the way up here. And you have you get Eli Whitney down here. Um, still a good card. Still is going to help you, but not as much as Yi Sun Shin. So you're going to come across cards like that. I used to run 80 cards, and uh, I went to a tournament one day with Clayton, who's also part of this channel. Um, it was the first time we'd ever played together, and he gets a... Um, he had this, this deck, it had 50 cards, like, or 50 to 60, and I had 80 cards, and I lost the tournament. Um, we weren't playing by the right rules, but we still, I still lost the tournament, and um, I talked to the owner of that shop, uh, his name's Josh, 
and he uh, he played a uh, this uh, another card game called Magic the Gathering, which I'm sure some of you have heard of. Zach has talked about it a few times in his videos, um, but it was it's um it's just another TCG player um, trading card game, also or collectible card game, something like that, which is basically the same thing. But he played that for a, quite a few years. Not that he's old or anything, but uh, he, he played that for a while, and since he was a teenager, and he he knew how to build a deck. He he did own a own a card shop, still does, and he uh, he he said, "You need to crank up the the coals on this deck. You have eighty cards in here. The minimum's fifty, um, and." you're more likely to get your cards. Get the good cards if you have less cards. So that's that's just a really good basic rule. Um, so imagine you're playing this gigantic 400 card deck against this customized 50 card deck. You have the chance of getting really bad cards. This one, everything that can happen will happen, and the only thing that can happen is they're going to get good cards because it's a good deck and it's only got good cards in it. So, it's just a good rule of thumb. Run about 50 to 60. I run, I run as I've said, 51-ish maybe. And um, it's just a, just a good thing. Good, good rule of thumb. So uh, we might be back on um, Friday night, hopefully. If not, we'll catch you next time. And uh, good day to you.